So let's look at, you know, an example of what we have learned, uh, a, a linear programming model. And of course, if you look at this model, you can see that there is this extra word here, right? Oh, I'll just ignore the and. Uh, the integer word is there. And that expresses the desire, the demand that x1, x2, the decision variables, have to be integer, right? So, example, if Excel is, is going to solve this, then we are telling Excel, look, I need x1, x2 to have values that are optimal, that will maximize this expression, and they satisfy all the constraints that I've given you, right? That's the usual linear programming model. In addition, don't give me anything that's 1.5 comma 2.05, uh, 1.7 comma 3.6. I don't want to hear decimal values for both x1 and x2. Okay, so uh, let's see how we might be able to uh, do that uh, in Excel. So here's my Excel screen. And uh, earlier on, we have had sessions trying to uh, explain in detail uh, how we and why we should be doing all these so for now I'm just going to quickly um, replicate the entire model into our Excel screen here okay so three, um, just give me a second to replicate them here and I'll do that rather quickly um, but as a review you should be able to follow through what I'm trying to do uh, without too much difficulty i hope and if at any point you should feel a bit lost uh, just go back to our previous sessions uh, sessions one two three to um, revise again as to how we might be able to set things up uh, when we are given a model how we can deploy that in excel okay in a way that is uh, efficient uh, clear and of course, use results. So I have uh, just very quickly nine, seven, and one. Okay, and we are done. All right. So um, let's just center everything nicely. And uh, we need to solve this. So this would be. This would be our usual way to solve the model. Yep. And I've just put in some uh, test numbers. And we're not done. So far, you do not see anything that is different from the usual when the, the decision variables do not need to be uh, integer. So the complete model will be that uh, we want the decision values to be non-negative and integer. So, but so far, we haven't done anything different. So let's look at the solver window. It is here that we begin to see uh, something that's different. And I need to switch over because of the screen. Uh, the solver window pops up, but it is, it is uh, not quite captured here. Okay, so I've got it captured here. So when the window pops up, we need to uh, fill in the blanks, just fill in the form. We need to maximize changing variables here, right? At the constraints, and since they are nicely uh, all having less than equal to, we'll just do this block addition. Yeah, okay. And then we set to simplex LP. And so so far we are done. However, just one more thing because of the constraints. Remember, we recall that integer constraints are constraints. So. We need to add constraint just remember right integer binary they are additional constraints not on the linear combination of the values but on the values themselves so in some sense it's not so linear right we're asserting requiring that the values be uh, linear that's that's not a very linear thing to do so we want so here is precisely the new thing huh? we desire for the decision variables the yellow cells that i've um, colored here we want them to be integer. Can you see that here? All right, this int selection is precisely how we convey to Excel that we want these cells to be integer. 
okay and of course if you want them to be binary you just select bin as well but for now our model is saying integer right so we'll just say integer now of course obviously this is a special constraint and the right hand side doesn't exist we just we're just saying we're just uh, having a unitary kind of imposition of the constraint on the decision values so excel just fills in automatically on right side a redundant thing like integer so we do an add and uh, successful right so there's no complaint and you'll see that excel needs will check did you refer to cell reference on the decision variable in those because earlier on we told excel solver that the variables are positioned here right in the by changing variable cells so in those now if we either by mistake or by intention selected other things because we misunderstood the nature if you had insisted coefficients be integer there'll be a problem excel will not accept which is correct because it prevents us from doing something silly uh, it, it doesn't make sense to require non-changing coefficients that we already know are integer or non-integer and you cannot change them to be constrained to integer it doesn't make sense okay good so uh, if we look at what we have so far in our model excel has understood that we want the uh, constraints the linear constraints and in addition the decision variables right to be integer now notice that your constraint on decision variables necessarily have to be a subset it doesn't have to be the entire thing if it's the entire thing then it's the all integer model but here we have a oh uh, yeah we have a all integer model but if you have a subset example only x1 is integer then that would be a, a mixed integer model but excel really doesn't care right so long as you follow uh you you do not extend the integer binary constraint to be your by changing cells that you specify here yeah? now clearly we should fill the form from top to bottom because if you don't tell excel what are the by changing cells and you add integer requirements excel wouldn't know and it will flag error again so uh yeah so it's it's just best to fill the form from top to bottom so by doing so we can uh solve and why don't we just go ahead and do it all right great we found the solution is three zero and uh, that's just uh well we, we are not sure what to do right but since we are here on this page why don't we try uh just uh, to understand the other terminologies which is the lp relaxation the lp relaxation so in excel it is uh, uh easy to do that we click on options all right and there is this part that says uh where is it ignore integer constraints can you see this all right if we click this if we select this ignore integer constraints this means that we will we are asking excel that despite having integer and or binary constraints here it will be ignored so solver will proceed as if this constraint the one highlighted here with with the integer constraint as if this were removed so if we solve it again we are going to find ourselves getting non-integer values like this and remember the term for this that's called the lp relaxation lp relaxation of the original uh, mixed or all integer model so not bad we have this uh, and why why do we need to do that uh, because if we do not select this all right and if we solve it we'll get three zero but if we delete this the integer constraint and solve it then same thing we'll get back the lp relaxation results and the reason why we or excel provides this is not just a redundant uh, convenience uh, but because oftentimes when we have a large complex model we will end up having most likely pockets of decision variables having the the need to be integer and or binary and we'll have multiple lines not just one line neatly but multiple lines of integer binary and so on and 
maybe has taken you some time and care to enter them correctly. But if you are saying, maybe let me try and see the LP relaxation of this model, then it will take you another, you know, uh, time to another another duration to remove this, run it, and then maybe add it back again to experiment with the outcomes. And that becomes quite a chore. So with a lot of uh, ease, we just open up uh, options, click this, ignore integer constraints, and the rest will be just proceeded as per normal and we'll be able to solve the LPE relaxation uh, while maintaining right all the entries that we have done for the original problem. Having said that, it does mean right that when you are touching anything, any variable that is binary or integer, make sure you check the options because if you forget fully, all right, left this checkbox checked, you will find yourself in misery because this you, you'll be hunting back and forth for some Excel problem when it's actually not. Why? It still gives you decimal places when you have insisted that they are integer. So uh, I've seen that uh, error committed many, many times by students, by classes in the past. So uh, be very careful about uh, integer and binary. Uh, especially in relationship with the use of the ignore integer constraints. Okay. Um, all right. So let's undo that. Okay. So we'll just leave it here first. So we've seen both the solutions, right? This is the LP relaxation. The three comma zero was the uh, integer uh, solution, the original solution. And they looked very, very different, don't they? 